Fam de Garçons, do you know one Tanave? Oh wow, this is incredible. I might buy this. <laughs> Yeah. Excited for today. Oh my god, I cannot believe you're gonna take us vintage shopping. This is great. I know, I know. I've been looking forward to this. I want to hear all the secrets that you're talking about. <laughs> Let's, Let's go. go. So we are in Koenji, a neighborhood maybe by train 30 minutes outside of Shibuya, uh, typically where I stay when I come to Tokyo. It was one of those adrenaline rushes the first time I came here um, that I never forgot. So I always come back and uh, it's a neighborhood that is specializing in used or vintage clothing. Right. And each shop kind of takes on like its own personality yeah. uh, that is very much curated by the owner. Tokyo is a huge vintage capital. Vintage capital, yes. Where are we going to stop now? Where's the first stop that you take here? Uh, the first store, I think it's called uh, Don Don Down. Okay, well, show me. Let's yeah, go. let's go. What you see in this shop is probably yes. the buyer's opinion of like how men in this area dress. So you'll see like vintage calm, you're gonna see vintage calm de garçons. Yeah, yeah, vintage okay. calm, probably like vintage supreme. You'll see like Vietnam War souvenir jackets. Yeah, you're right. It's, it's, they have calm. Yeah, look, vintage first piece, vintage calm. Oh, wow. This is incredible. It's beautiful, right? Yes. So vintage June. Yeah. Do you know one Tanabe? Oh wow, this is incredible. I'm gonna buy this. <laughs> oh, yeah, my god, it's a Kamde Garçon bummer. It's $168. Dude, I'm telling you, man. What? This is so cool. Like oh wow. Like, this is Ferragamo. This is amazing. Yeah. So it's a cross-section of designer brands. Yeah. This is super great. In what galaxy are we? Yeah, my favorite. And also from the outside, it doesn't look no, like... You would never know. Store. It right. looks like a, a tiny little corner. Yeah, you would have to, you kind of have to know. You have to know. I think like maybe 10 years ago, yes. like you would have seen like a lot of Americana. Yes. Like, a, you know, 2008, or 2007, right. like tons of Americana. Yeah. But now, just like the rest of the world, people are realizing like how, how special Japanese designers are and like how well stuff is made and the fact that you know there's top coats from seasons that probably could be like 10 years old you know years old 15 years old and it's like it's still so relevant exactly yeah look at this Jean Paul Gaultier yeah this is unbelievable this is unbelievable this is 90s this is so this is crazy what? yeah it's beautiful it's right great okay you keep on looking the 90s polo sport, it's still great. Yeah, so I think that's one of the things that's like so cool about this, these shops is like the fact that you can buy like, you know, like vintage like painter's pants mm -hmm. and right there are like, it's like vintage polo sport. And right. then like <laughs> right here you have like what dropped last week from Supreme. And they have the APC Supreme collab yeah. denim. Vintage 501s, 505s. I could spend a week in this store. Oh, yeah. I love this. Okay, let's go. Okay. Let's go to the next one. In the 90s, when I used to go vintage shopping, it had a stigma, yeah. in a way, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, But right now, it's basically the thing that everyone does. Yeah, oh, I agree, yeah. Something can be plucked from an era and mixed with, like, your own personal style, and it, like, can show that you have, like, great taste. Um, that's why, like, coming to like a neighborhood like this, like you can, f you'll find stuff that like truly like unique and one of a kind. So, do you find a lot of inspiration for your own collections here? Yeah. So, for me, like this will be more about like wash development for denim, wash uh, development, and then like yeah. fabric research as well. That's like, how I see oftentimes it. you can see how like a particular fabric will wear in over time um, by seeing, you know, literally how people have worn it. So, Alex, tell me, welcome to Slut. This is Slut? <laughs> <laughs> I love the name. All right. <laughs> Very prophetic. Yes. And so, what are we looking at here now? Uh, here, I'd probably look at denim. denim. I probably want to go through, yeah, their vintage Levi's selection. Okay, let's look at the vintage Levi's. There's a couple things that you're looking for. You're looking for 
either 501s, 505s, but then for me, wear patterns. This is something that I think is super interesting. It almost looks like uh, oil or uh, like almost like burns. Beautiful fit, straight leg, like, you know, it's, it's a great pair of jeans right here. This is a great pair of jeans. Yeah, this is like a grail. These are just gorgeous. Like, I might get these for myself. I love the stains and the distress effect here. The whiskering is perfect. Quidro is the, so great. Yeah, it's beautiful, right? And look at look at the, the frame. The frame. Yeah. The color is perfect. Little hits of like almost like uh, paint. Beautiful. Yes, it's so banal. It's a perfect jacket. Yeah. But I like. I would personally love this. Yeah. I, I would totally wear this. Vintage polo. Oh, that must be so cheap. <laughs> That's so, so sick. So sick. Right? That is, it's gonna fit so well. Too. Yeah, it's so beautiful. It's that crop boxy silhouette that is perfect. So talk to me about uh, this past collection that you did. We, we came here to put that collection together. You did? Yeah, we, were, we put that collection together in Japan. I had felt like this kind of weight almost, like can we do women's, can I, can we actually have a point of view that matters? Um, and like freeing myself of that weight, like I'm not worthy of doing women's was like a big, uh, a big moment for me. And it came through this idea of like, look, just destroy what you thought you were gonna do. Destroy all the conversations that you've had with girls about, oh my God, why don't you just do sweatshirts like you do for men's, you know? And like said, like think about it, like, okay, let's have a, a real point of view here. We had like a cautiously optimistic plan of like, who was gonna pick up the women's line, mm -hmm. and um, it far exceeded what we had anticipated. I always feel pressure. I, I never feel like mm -hmm. the pressure is off, um, mm -hmm. but that's what makes it fun as well. You know, you yeah. gotta push yourself. So this store, about this one? I, I'll typically find stuff here. So um, this is one of your favorite? This is, yeah, this is one of them. I would, you know, I, there's so many. So many. There right? are so many stores in this neighborhood, but um, this is one of the more interestingly curated stores. What are we gonna see here? Yeah, uh, Banana Republic, Eddie Bauer. Oh my God, let me show you. have to show me the Eddie Bauer. Too. Yeah, right? The Eddie Bauer is... Yeah, you have Eddie Bauer sweaters here. Right? right, exactly, and Gap. And Gap, look at this Gap sweater. I also find like incredible silks and uh, prints here. Silks and prints. Yeah. Oh, this is incredible. Oh wow, yes. This is so cool. You know what? I, I know your brand really well, but now coming with you here, I really understand you. <laughs> yeah. I do, I do, I yeah. understand. It's, I see your references. Yeah. It's really very, very amazing. I'm excited that I get to show you this. Look at this. So great. So classic, so cool. So timeless. classic, timeless. LL Bean, there we go. Called it. You did. <laughs> That's so great. It's so amazing the level of curation. Yeah. It's every piece is specific and it works together. It's a perfect assortment. I think they see what's happening in the street, right? Like, so they see what's happening in the neighborhood and like that's what they start to infiltrate in, into their stores. This neighborhood is so amazing and I think, you know, it's it's great to like show off something that I love. So. Right. I mean, let's not tell too many people. Yeah. <laughs>